<coughs> excuse me, into our next speaker, um, who is an undergraduate student at the University of Nottingham. So now we get to hear from the student side. So Melissa Fletcher is currently a fourth year student at Nottingham University. And um, she, one of her lecturers is uh, Dr. Katalin Kovac, who is in our sustainability and pharmacy education group. And Dr. Kovac first made us aware of Melissa's work at one of our meetings, and we were really interested to hear more. So Melissa's presentation um, will discuss the research findings from her undergraduate third year research project regarding teaching pharmacy students at undergraduate level about sustainability in healthcare and the link between the environment and human health. So absolutely following on from what Angela has been talking about, um, looking at what we're going to be doing about teaching pharmacy undergraduates. So Melissa, are you there? there I am, you are. Yeah, I'll just share my slide. Great. Okay, so hopefully you can see my slides. Yes, lovely. Thank um, you, Melissa. Yeah, so as Nala mentioned, I'm here to talk about some of the research findings from my undergraduate research project. So we were working as a group of three students, but we were all looking at three different areas of sustainability in pharmacy. So my colleague Leith was looking at sustainability and in terms of how we can make the delivery of the pharmacy course more sustainable. So thinking about reducing the environmental impact of labs and placements, um, any workshops that we run, et cetera. And my colleague Yumna was looking at sustainability issues in pharmacy practice, some of which we've just heard about from Angela, um, and thinking about what pharmacy students should be taught so that when they enter the workplace, they're aware of these issues, how to deal with them and how to practice sustainably. And the focus of this presentation is going to be uh, my research findings. So the area that I was looking at was what topics should we be teaching pharmacy students in the MPharm course about sustainability, climate impact and environmental impact of the industry. So I'm going to take you through some of those findings in the next few slides. So the brief that uh, my fellow students and I were approached with by our supervisors, Catalin and Helen, were to explore how we can teach about sustainable practice, how we can include it in the curriculum and how the delivery of the course itself could be made more sustainable. So we did that in two ways. We gathered our data um, by interviews and also by a questionnaire to students. So we interviewed a variety of people, including some of the university staff at Nottingham who are trying to make the university more sustainable. We also spoke to pharmacy professionals who are practicing in different areas of pharmacy practice to explore some of those issues that <clears throat> they're experiencing. And we also spoke to um, educators in schools of pharmacy and schools of medicine. We also did a questionnaire, as I've mentioned, for all of the MPharm students at the University of Nottingham. And this was to gauge their attitudes towards including sustainability in the curriculum, and also just to gauge their understanding of climate change and climate issues, and to find out what they would like to be taught and what change they would like to see. So I'll start with the questionnaire. So we had a maximum response rate of 35%. And on this slide, I'm just showing a few of the demographics data that we collected. And we collected some of this data with demographic percentages that were really similar to the percentages that we have on the, on the course. So we're confident that we've gathered a range of views that are representative of all of our students. So some of the findings, so we asked them a variety of questions about climate change and sustainability, and we found that 96% of the students felt that climate change was an issue that needed to be resolved. And the vast majority of them were willing to take action, and some of the actions that those who are taking um, action are listed here. Um, but as it says, 71% of the respondents, so the vast majority, they were willing to take action but they weren't sure what they could do as an individual. Um, so that's something that, that we can address as part, of, as part of the course. 
So on this slide, I'm showing some more of the questions that we asked. So the vast majority of students, 61%, said that they only knew a little bit about the awareness of the impact of climate change on human health. And as we're a healthcare course, ideally we would want students to know a lot about the awareness um, of climate change impacts on health. So that's something that we should be addressing in the course. We also established that 70% of respondents weren't aware of the NHS net zero pledge that Angela mentioned in her previous presentation. So that's again something that we need to address because when we enter the workforce, we we need to be we need to know what sustainability issues are. We need to know how to practice sustainably to be able to help the NHS meet that net zero um, pledge. And we also found that students, they thought that climate change was relevant to the pharmacy profession and that they thought that pharmacists should respect the environment in their practice. So our most important finding is on this slide, and that is that 50% of the students thought sustainability should be included in the curriculum. And that for us was important because it shows that the work that the School of Pharmacy want to do in integrating sustainability is something that students want to see. And on the bottom of the slide, that question about uh, were they aware of any teaching about environmental impacts of medicines or health services in the course so far, only 18% of students said that they were aware of any teaching. And hopefully when we start to teach more about sustainability, that percentage will increase. So on this slide, I'm just show, showing a word cloud of what students said they would like to see in the curriculum. So there were a variety of issues that they, they wanted to see taught about and explored, but the most important one was the role of the pharmacist. Students wanted to know what the role of the pharmacist is in climate change and in sustainability and in, in healthcare. And students also wanted to be taught about climate change, what it is and what health impacts it has. And they were also interested in learning more about the environmental impact of the pharmaceutical industry. And there's a few more ideas that they mentioned as well. And I'll just give you some time just to have a read of all of those. Okay, so I'll move on to the interview findings. So the purpose of our interview was to explore with academics and, and pharmacy professionals what topics should be taught in the MPharm course and also ways that we can integrate those topics into the course. So there's a quote here on the bottom of the slide which um, basically summarises one of our key findings, which is that sustainability should be taught from day one. It should be integrated throughout the whole of the training so that when the pharmacy students enter the workforce as pharmacists, they know how to practice sustainably. It's embedded into their practice. So we identified a, a variety of topics and I've split them up into Sort of little section. So the most important one that was mentioned multiple times by lots of our um, interviewees was the use of medicines and the safe um, and effective use of medicines and really considering the environment when we're thinking about antibiotic prescribing and also promoting de-prescribing and reducing the number of medicines that are prescribed and also to consider the environment more in our choice of inhalers. We also identified that students can be taught about how to educate the public on the environmental impacts of their lifestyle and to consider things like more sustainable diets, um, the fact that increasing exercise also reduces the use of um, cars and public transport which have a high carbon footprint. Um, medicines waste and recycling was also mentioned and that was something that was mentioned by students as well they wanted to see more recycling they wanted to see more safe um, disposal of medicines 
and students were one of the things that they did raise in the questionnaire was that they think that medicine's disposal they know about the impact of medicine's disposal on the environment um, and the last two are about teaching the um, teaching the sustainable development goals in all courses not just pharmacy wherever it's relevant and also thinking more about the design of medicines and the manufacturing process the packaging transport process trying to make all of that as sustainable as possible we also identified ways of integrating sustainability into the curriculum and an important thing that was mentioned in the interviews was using the expertise of other departments, such as the geography and chemistry department, who have more expertise in climate change and environmental and sustainability, and using their expertise to, to teach students about those topics. And a really big one is just ensuring that staff have the required knowledge, that they're supported, that they feel like they have the skills and understanding to teach students about sustainability and to know how to change or add to their their current teaching material to to have an environmental spin on that teaching so i created these um diagrams just to show um what the current what modules are taught in the current course at the university of nottingham and where some of those suggestions from our interview can fit in. So if I draw your attention to um, the digestive system module that's taught in semester two of first year, some of the findings from our interviews talked about sustainable diets, and that could fit into the nutrition mod like little section that's taught in the digestive system module. Um, so that's something that I created to help the School of Pharmacy see where they can integrate some of these topics into the teaching material that they already have. And for third year and fourth year, it's the same. So um, in semester one of third year, we have a central nervous system module and the climate anxiety that we've already heard about at this conference could be um, included in the aspect of the central nervous system module where we talk about mental health. So just to finish up, we are really proud of our student survey um, in that it had a really high response rate. And we found that students are very much passionate about sustainability it's something that they want to be taught about they want to know more about they want to be involved in and the survey captured those ideas some of the ideas of the topics they want to be taught in the course and hopefully that will feed into changes of in changes of the course so that they can be taught those things and they can see that they're um, what they're passionate about is being taught to them However, with our interviews, we were a bit disappointed that the time frame of this undergraduate project meant that we could only interview 13 people. Um, and we did reach out to more people, um, but unfortunately, there was a lot of people that we couldn't speak to simply because of the timing. Um, and the last point is that we only spoke to people who were really, really passionate about sustainability, and we haven't heard any other views to balance that out. And finally, recommendations for the course. So the findings from both my project and my colleagues' projects um, were, were fed to the School of Pharmacy. And we've told them that it is possible to integrate sustainability into the curriculum. And the diagrams that I created um, were really useful in showing them where those topics could be integrated. Something that we do need to work on, though, is supporting our lecturers to make sure that they feel capable, um, they have the resources and the understanding that they need to teach about sustainability. And then we can improve the students' understanding of sustainability and what they can do as an individual now, but also as a future pharmacist as part of this, as part of this work. Um, so that's everything that I wanted to share. And I hope that was interesting. And if you have any questions, I'm happy to take them.
Thank you so much, Melissa, for that. A really inspiring talk and just perfectly timed after Angela's talk because you're actually physically doing what she has suggested pharmacy students should be doing. So great to see that you're kind of finding out what students want, what they need to know, and then working with your lecturers to um, actually achieve that. So I hope that's well, certainly from the comments in the box, lots of people are feeling inspired to go off and do the same thing as you. So thank you so much for sharing that. Um, it's time for break now. So we haven't got time for questions at the moment, but do feel free to put any in the chat box and we'll pick them up later. Um, we have time for a 10 minute break now. So it's 11 o'clock. We're going to come back at 10 past 11. So please do feel free to move away from your screens and get moving. Thank you.